Hi there, welcome to wikihowto.com. Today we're gonna learn how to do area based searching from database. We're gonna learn how to put address in the text area and how to convert the address into latitude or longitude, how to save that into database so that we can um, do multi to further calculations or further searches over them. So, um, first of all, I will tell you about uh, something little about latitude and or longitude. Uh, every place has its latitude and longitude on the earth. So, um, um, whenever you put an address, it is translated into latitude or longitude, uh, and uh, every place has its, its unique latitude and longitude. So, uh, the file you are viewing is a uh, template file it is given by google uh, i have downloaded it from somewhere so um and uh, made some modifications into it uh, according to my need so what does it do we have a uh, area text area bar here so okay so we have an area bar here let's suppose we have um, 10 we are searching on Johor town so I start typing Johor mm, maybe I need to refresh it once again yeah it should work now so Johor town whenever we click the Johor town it will automatically pick latitude and longitude of the corresponding location so what we need to do is save that latitude or longitude with the name of that area in our database so that we can use further searching um, on the basis of this latitude and longitude uh, we have all the values here all we need to submit this form and save it to database uh, that can be easy part I have put several uh, tutorials of that you, uh, you can look into it so we are just now uh, for now we are going to add it from directly from the PHP MyAdmin so we went to PHP MyAdmin here we are So um, for this purpose, as I have already entered the Johor town area here in database, here is the same latitude and longitude we have there. Um, skipping about, I will tell you about the schema of this video. It has a name, a location, or whatever you want to do, uh, the attributions, and a latitude and a longitude. So. I'll let assume that we have saved this information in our database so till now our one phase is complete we have saved different locations that are used in our system in our database now what we need to do we need to look the areas nearby that are saved in our database let's suppose Expo Center is near Johor Town. So whenever, whenever we search the Expo Center, it should give us the Johor Town location or the surrounding locations. We can specify the radius, radius of five kilometers, radius of ten kilometers, radius of fifteen kilometers, in which we have we have to go for a search. So let's begin with that. Let's do it. So uh, what we need to do, we are searching here, Expo Center, Expo Center, Lao. Expo Center is located in Johor Town. So if we need Expo Center, it should definitely give us the record near Johor Town. Johor Town should be included in that. Yeah, 
Expo Center Road, we have uh, searched for that and it gave us the latitude and longitude of the Expo Center. So we have saved it in somewhere so can we can put this latitude and longitude in the post request and uh, then uh, run our query. Uh, for now, I have written already written a query that gives us the distance and uh, the database retrievals from from uh, depending on the area. So here is that script. Mm, no. Let me minimize it. So zoom out, I have zoom out. Yeah, so I will share this script with you so that you can just copy paste and run it. Here is the script. The script says that calculate the radius as distance. Calculate the radius, uh, sorry, I mean distance of that uh, particular building we are searching for from all the record or database and pick up those locations we are nearby in our circle in our defined radius we can uh, put the radius uh, 5 kilometers 10 kilometers or whatever we want so uh, I will quickly go through the parameters it is taking here here uh, is select star uh, bracket open 6371 6371 is the radius of earth uh, it is mathematical, some mathematical calculations um, that's not pretty much uh, rocket science it's just a distance formula so the basic distance formula we have learned in our 8th or 10th standards so um, uh, going further here is the latitude of input value latitude of input value whatever latitude is uh, is given by the user it will be put on here and here is the database latitude here is the database longitude and here is yeah here here is the latitude of the user input place again here here is um, uh, here is let a uh, long latitude um, Please apologize me if you, if I um, conflict between if I am confused between latitude and longitude. So uh, here is the radius. What should be the radius of the searching? Let's suppose we are doing searching in the five kilometer radius. So when we click on go, it should give us all the record near Jordan. Uh, one more thing. We note we need to set the input latitude and longitude here I think that's exactly the same no, no that's, not, that's not the same I have just searched before 74 yes 74 and 31 once again so putting up here 31 yeah, yeah let's go so here it is. The record is only Johar Town. Here, here is how we can <coughs> do database searching depending upon our area. It can be used in our mobile apps. Uh, you can write on your own servers which can provide the services to your mobile app depending on their locations. If user is standing in Johar Town, it should only list down all the nearby shops or whatever the items uh, in your store from the nearby areas is if here uh, he is in Shadra or any other city uh, so you should you should be your system can be able to show him um, uh, locality based items from your um, server so th this can be very very useful uh, in enhancing your sales whenever user go to Faisalabad uh, it, it will show him um, the it will show him the items from the Faisalabad whenever he switches the city the exactly 
it will switch the city from the server as well. I will pick up 